We chiropractors work with the subtle substance of the soul. We release the prison impulses, a tiny rivulet of force that emanates from the mind and flows over the nerves to the cells and stirs them to life. We deal with the magic power that transforms common food into living, loving, thinking clay that robes the earth with beauty and hues and scents the flowers with the glory of the air. In the dim, dark, distant long ago, when the sun first bowed to the morning star, this power spoke and there was life. It quickened the slime of the sea and the dust of the earth and drove the cell to union with its fellows in countless living forms. Through eons of time, it finned the fish and winged the bird and fanged the beast. Endlessly it worked, evolving its forms until it produced the crowning glory of them all. With tireless energy, it blows the bubble of each individual life and then silently, relentlessly dissolves the form and absorbs the spirit into itself again. And yet you ask, can chiropractic cure appendicitis or the flu? Have you more faith in a knife or a spoonful of medicine than in the power that animates the living world? B.J. Palmer Once in a while I'm asked a question about this particular saying because of course you see that it's posted up above the tables in the therapy area. And usually it comes down to the part about eons of time and that, uh, you know, that this is uh, quasi evolution, you know, and, and the question comes down to, well, you know, I thought that you were a God guy. I didn't th you know, I didn't know that you were into evolution. And so I want to explain something behind this because you really need to understand the backstory behind this uh, to understand why I believe it's written that way. You see, in the beginning, when D.D. Palmer actually discovered chiropractic, he wanted to make it a religion. He actually thought that uh, that you know the best way to go about it would be to make it a religion that he would control, and even so far as calling himself the Fountainhead. And his son, BJ, uh, who is known as the developer of chiropractic, he saw the real power behind chiropractic. He understood that while his father was brilliant uh, in his discovery, that this was something that needed to be given to the entire world. And uh, that this was literally the means of changing healthcare and, and ultimately changing the world as a whole through it by, by making, allowing people to reach their potential. And so he, uh, according to his father, actually hijacked the profession and took it over and built the BJ Palmer uh, School of Chiropractic in Davenport, Iowa. And he started training people to do chiropractic, which his father uh, absolutely hated him for and uh, to the point where he actually took it to his deathbed. So when you read the volumes of works by BJ, uh, you notice that there's this common theme where he where he always separates uh, the idea of religion from his writings. And that's because you've got to understand the background, you know, that he was trying to separate the idea that chiropractic was a religion because he saw it is not. It is healthcare. It's not a religion. It's not owned by any one person. However, the more you read about uh, through his works, the more you really see that it is undeniable that he saw that there was this power inside of the body and he called it innate intelligence his father called it innate intelligence but uh but there was this undeniable force in the body that whether you call it uh you know mother nature or you straightforward call it god that there is this power inside the body that that creates health that makes your body heal that runs and governs everything in the body and it's it's this unbelievable power that that emulates through the entire universe, and uh, and but there's something there's something special about things that are alive uh, that you can't take un uh, unalive matter, dead matter, and make it into life. And that's something that science knows. They know it absolutely. They may deny it. They may try it, 
but they know it absolutely. And so I think that's just such a beautiful picture. Uh, if you can get past the eons of time, because in reality, eons can be whatever you want it to be. And in reality, we have no idea. If you're if you're a believer in God, you have no idea how long it actually took God to create the universe. Um, we have but small few words uh, in writing to try to ponder what that actually means. And so whether it's a blink of an eye or, or many, many uh, you know, millions of years, uh, eons can mean whatever it means to you. But the picture still remains the same, that you have a power inside of you, an undeniable force that creates health and life and is your number one means to get you well and keep you well and get your family well and keep them well for as long as absolutely possible.